All right, shalom, Makim. Hey, y'all, Bashmah, Shai, Brakatham to my dear brothers, my beloved sisters out there, man. All praise to y'all, Bashmah, Shai. Divine to the apostles over there at Great Millstone, man, that have taught us the ropes. Peace and mercy to elect out there, man. Whoever the elect may be, Lord willing, we the men. And for the men that I've been around, to the men I've met in other states, I, I mean, I believe us to be those men and I'm speaking all in humility and I speak as a man at the same time. But if it like they got a saying in the world, if it walk like a duck, it talk like a duck, hey, it's a duck. These men that I be around, they're very, very honorable and I believe it's because the Lord is dealing with them and dealing with me. And now, hey, this, this lesson was sparked by, you know, one of the beloved brothers, um, um, one of the beloved brothers, man. And I'm gonna title it, uh, um, uh, what is it? How's it go? Uh, in Job, it says, um, blessed is the man who the Lord correcteth. Okay. And when you soon, this is what I was meditating on. As soon as I was talking to the brother on the phone, but as soon as I got off the phone with the brother, I was meditating on, even from the beginning, as soon as you crack the book open, you get to the third chapter, the Heavenly Father is correcting uh, Adam, Eve, and, and the serpent. Correction is in the scriptures, man. From the beginning. All right? So as soon as you hit that third chapter, the Heavenly Father is, is getting on top of uh, Eve, Adam, and the serpent's head. Dealing with correction. So now we find ourselves, the, descended, the descendants of our forefathers... We're dealing with the same thing they dealt with. And this correction that the Heavenly Father, when the Heavenly Father does, you know, plant correction upon you, <clears throat> when the Heavenly Father plants correction upon you, it's to, it's to save your soul. It's to, it's to get you to understand not to do a certain thing, to move in a more decent order, which leads to your life. Okay? So that's what we all deal with as being in the word of the Lord, we all dealing with this correction and it's all leading us to this eternal life. Check it out, even Peter, our for um the head, the head man of the church, King David's reincarnation. He was corrected by Yahweh Shai um in the, in the in the gospels, man. All right? Yahweh Shai corrected him plenty of times and he didn't get he didn't get offended or he didn't do anything outside to you know to to lead his spirit he didn't go back into the world he didn't do none of that he just took it as for what it was of course when you get correction the scriptures say no chastisement for the present seeming to be joyous but afterward it yielded for peaceable fruit of, of righteousness you see so when you're going through your correction of course it didn't feel it doesn't feel good peter you know that it really didn't feel good he had the lord yahweh shy um, correcting him in his face But at the word Look how strong Peter became Or at the word Look how strong you become after Receiving correction Okay So the correction is a part of this thing And a lot of men Can easily become offended At correction Can easily become offended at correction And what, and what the Lord Yahweh Shai said he, he said he coming to bring offenses Offenses because Yahweh Shai is not going to tolerate not me, not you, not nobody. Yahweh Shai is not going to tolerate no crappiness. The Lord Yahweh Shai told us in Matthew 5 and 48, you got to be perfect even as your father which is in heaven. So he's not going to tolerate uh, any type of crappiness amongst us. So he's going to correct you. It's like an austere father. Um... With a with a with a single eye on his children, he's gonna correct you. So those of and, and with correction comes a lot of offenses come because as men men would think to themselves, man, what the hell? How you gonna talk to me like that? I'm a man. I'm a grown ass man. Or why he had to do that like that? He didn't have to come off like that. Who he think he is? He seen too. You see. But the Lord said, blessed is the man who are not offended in me. You know? The ones who wait, who hears, you know, that you know, you may be slipping a little bit. All of us fucking slip, man. I done been corrected so many times. 
my some some of my corrections uh did nothing but pour out rivers of rivers of tears you know through my trial but it's all gravy you know what i'm saying time time with time heals and with time with the time with the lord it teaches so as time went forward all it did was make me better in this correction and let you understand when you go when you when you have certain offenses it just lets you understand when then you get corrected on it unless you understand um the intensity of the offense and 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 why not to do it all right and it's all it's all the love it's all the love from the lord because if the lord didn't love you he wouldn't correct you man he'll leave you out here like the two-thirds two-thirds out here doing all whichever so what they will and all this crappiness they doing and the lord just uh is basically just not saying it or i'm not not saying i'm gonna say not not saying anything but the lord is just basically um um letting the let the filthy be in filthy still you see but the lord ain't doing that with us he ain't doing that with his men you know he's correcting us he's and we're and what like i said we're moving in we're moving into a um a nation of of just men being made perfect in the book of hebrews the 12th chapter all of us brother we got that that real willing just mind but it's this flesh that prevents us from being perfect but we're gonna be made perfect because we we want to be perfect in the lord if it's his will if we don't elect we're gonna be we're gonna be made perfect man you know so yeah let me grab this let me grab this real quick in job Job chapter 5, verse 17, it says, Behold, happy is the man whom the Heavenly Father correcteth. Therefore, despise not the chastening of the Almighty. It says, For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth and his hands make whole. So, it said, Happy is the man who the Heavenly Father correcteth. God, man, you think to yourself, what? That's an oxymoron. But nah, man, it's, it's good. It's good. It's all good because the Lord's He's basically um, causing you to not destroy you, to destroy yourself. <clears throat> it says, for he maketh sore and bindeth up, he woundeth, and his hands make whole. The Lord brings you low, and he brings you back up. The Lord corrects you, and he builds you back up. It says, um, um, it says, he shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, and seven shall no evil touch thee. And all this trouble to come, People finna get their ass handed to them. But since we took the chastisement of the Lord, when the world wasn't being judged, when the world starts to get judged, we're gonna be in the clear. We ain't gonna be getting judged. All right? And that seventh, is, that seventh trouble is gonna be the nuclear missiles. We're gonna be delivered up in chariots, right? It says, In famine he shall redeem thee from death and and war from the power of the sword so from being obedient you know receiving correction the lord is going to grant us with a reward of being redeemed from famine and, and and over the power of the sword you know which is going to come in a very vicious manner it says thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue neither shalt thou be afraid of de destruction when it cometh it says that destruction and famine thou shalt laugh Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Okay? I'm going to stop it right there. So, man, simply receiving correction and stay obedient is going to lead to a more grand reward. So, I'm going to continue to, uh, Lord willing, I'm going to continue to continue to receive my correction in the spirit of the Lord. And I pray you, brethren, too, because that's a part of this thing. It's going to lead to a grand, a grand, a more grand reward for being able to be such a soldier. Shalom, my Shalom, my Shalom.